All right, here we are again. We are live. What's up, folks? What's up, fiends? What's up, Swarm Nation? It is Artist Celebration with Dawn McTig and her artwork right <laughs> Hello. <here. laughs> we are live. We are live. So, uh, folks, hopefully uh, my connection is a little bit better. I rebooted. I don't know if it's any folks. But uh, Dawn will do if uh, if my... If folks can have questions, we're just going to have to um, repeat any questions I throw at you on that. So, without further ado, let's get into uh, some drawing tests. I want to see. Oh, not me. Hello, Terry. Okay, so for this live stream, I'm using my phone so I can hear an echo. So I might be talking a little bit slower just because I'm confusing myself. <laughs> Hello, Carmen and Lee. All right, so what I'm gonna be doing is working on finishing this Lady Death Masterpieces. Um, it is an art book and Coffin Comics has it, I believe. <laughs> and so this was one of my, um, <clears throat> comp copies and I'm working on drawing Lady Death in the end sheets. So you can see inside it is a collection of art pieces and then this right here I'm just drawing on. <laughs> it's been a while, true Juan. <laughs> Hello Scott, Jeff, Carmen, Stone Curva. Welcome to the stream. All right, so I'm thinking to do some roses and then a crown, kind of like the Lady Death shimmer cover. Um, I need to add some more white paint and stuff, so I will explain what I'm doing. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Uh, first up, I have a little plastic tray that has paper towels in it that are wet. And then I have a baking sheet on top. And the reason why I do this is because it keeps the acrylic paint from drying really fast. So I've got that to the side and I'm gonna be using um, golden matte fluid acrylic in titanium white. And I'll just show you what I'm doing. Just getting some on my little paper. Oh, sorry, Kara. And paintbrush. So I'm taking a little bit of the paint. My paintbrush has some water on it. And I'm going to be adding a bit more right here so that it covers her black top. Hopefully. <laughs> Hello, Mark. So I'm just doing a few more levels here so that um, I can cover some of her black shirt with her hair color. Hello, Gian. I hope that I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Mark. Oh, hey, Ryan. Hopefully um, this works. What's happening is I'm hearing an echo, so I'm confusing myself. <laughs> Okay, and then I wanna decide what uh, color to give her roses. Of course, the natural thought is to do red, right? But it's on red paper. So I don't think that would really show up. So I've been considering blue, um, which I have here, and just adding some white to it so that it's a bit more opaque 
and it will show up on the red paper. I'm hoping. Oh, it's J-E-N. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Thank you for telling me how to pronounce your name. I'm doing great, Eric. How are you? Correct, Devin. Um, this was kind of the inspiration for how the Remark books are set up. Now, obviously, this is way, way bigger. Um, but it's the same concept where I'm doing white on a colored paper. So I'm getting a little bit of blue over here and I'm gonna mix it with some white. Uh, acrylics can sometimes not be very opaque. It really depends on the color. So I'm mixing it with white. It'll make it a lighter blue, which will look more icy, which I think works for Lady Death. And then also it'll help it with being op more opaque. Okay. And let's do a little mixy mix. Thank you, Gabriel. Hello, Tanya, Tanis, Jason, Orlando. Nice to see you guys. So I am going to do a little dab just to see how this matches, because if it matches really terribly, then I won't carry on. <laughs> what do you guys think? Blue and then gold is what's going to be the crown part. Hello, Adam. No, you didn't miss much, Carla. I uh, did some of this live stream a couple days ago, and then I'm going to be finishing it up here. Thank you, Terry Mendoza. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot and I will put more white in there so it'll, um, it'll look more frosty. Thank you, Will. I'm just drawing in the petals and I'm leaving some of the uh, joining parts, portions like right here. Um, just plain. Okay, let's give it a little bit more of a spiky petal right there. It's so fun, Jerry. Thank you for being here. Uh, spicy chicken sounds so good. Can I have some, Mark? <laughs> no, I actually have not done a La Morte cover yet. One of these days. Hi, Gil. All right, and down at the base, maybe some gold jewelry beads or something like that to kind of tie the room together. <laughs> 
oh, and classic me, I did it again. I started on the wrong side <laughs> because I'm right-handed. So I'm going to, touching the wet paint, I do it every time. <laughs> One of these days, I will learn my lesson. I might need to do a little bit of a second coat anywhere where the petals are coming off the white hair and going into the red just because it's as it dries it starts to go a little bit more translucent is this a unique way for you doing a remark um not really this is kind of how i do them now but this is more of a sketch this isn't a remark I don't know, Gilbert. <laughs> no, smudging happens no matter what hand you draw with. <laughs> I'm starting the inner portion of the petals and then I'm working out. I'm not trying to make the rose extremely deep or anything like that. I'm just kind of giving you the impression that they're roses. <laughs> Her hair is dry, so I can, by resting my hand down here. Oh, for sure, Jerry Mendoza. I would love to go. One thought is that I'm going to be going to Yancey Street Comics for Free Comic Book Day. Now, obviously, because of everything that's going on, it's been delayed or postponed like that. So um, I don't know when exactly that's going to be happening, but it is part of the plan. And that is in Florida, near Tampa. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. So I'm going to start having the roses diff disappear behind this lock of hair. Because her head is turned a little bit, I'm making them kind of go back in her head. And this is gonna be the last one. There we go. Now I'm going to add more white and do a bit of highlight on them. So I'm mixing 
the blue that's on my brush and adding in the white. So it's going to lighten it up. A little bit more. That's so awesome, Mark. Welcome from Ireland. Woohoo! <laughs> Take care. I really like um, dry brush strokes, so I am leaving the brush a little bit dry and it's got a little bit of texture. If I ever come out to Portland, Oregon, oh, I would love to. I haven't been to Portland in a while. Anything up for sale? Yes, Gilbert, there is um, a huge sale going on at Death Universe right now of a lot of the covers that I've done for them. As far as paper, Carlos, I don't actually know what this is because it is a um, Lady Death uh, art book and it's the end sheet of the art book. However, um, I'm using, um, let's see, I'm using Holbein acrylic paint and golden acrylic paint. Just need to clean up some of my mess here. Telling you art is such a messy thing when you're working with paint. <laughs> Next up is gold. Oh my gosh. So this stuff smells so strong. <laughs> like, oh my God, it's going to make me high. <laughs> I would, I would really come to the East, East coast. Um, I've been to Baltimore comic-con once. I would like to go back at some point. Thank you, Tim, for making your first purchase on Lady Death. All right, so I don't actually know everything about this particular pen, but it's a paint marker. It's uh, the Mitsubishi brand, and the rest is in Japanese, so I don't know. <laughs> but it's shiny and gold. What's my favorite way of doing my work? Huh. Honest, I like the fact that I get to draw lots of different things and using lots of different mediums. Um, I like working traditionally, but I also like coloring digitally. It really depends. And I like the variety of it. So the way that I'm going to get this paint started 
is you need to press down the nib. And that's how the paint comes out. If I can get the lid off. Oh my god. <laughs> Weakest hands ever. My husband's downstairs. <laughs> Help. All right. I got the lid off. And you just press and pump a little bit, and that's how the paint comes out. And now I'm going to give her her crap. Then I might actually do some gold paint splatter because I also have gold paint. Jonathan. <laughs> And then I'll catch up on questions and stuff. One, three, four. One, two, four. Working on the third. It's way too easy to lose count and make everything uneven, and that's super annoying. go so i don't know if you guys but it's um shiny and we like shiny over here oh <laughs> uh, thank you so much for sharing my work jonathan Giving a few little jewels hanging off. The other side. Let's give her a necklace.
That is so cool, Tanya. Thank you. We'll do something like this. And then I'm thinking to give her a nice big blue jewel so that it sort of ties everything together. Lady Death is nothing if not matching. I'll give her a nice jewel there, and maybe I'll give some gold and blue um, detail on here. Uh, Dave, that's a good question. Right now, I'm not really using paint paints. I'm using actual just uh, paint but I will probably switch to paint pen for some things. And I guess the, the metallic blue one counts as a paint pen. Okay. Oh my God, I can't get the lid off again. There we go. And then maybe with a white paint pen, I'm going to go in and give some of the gold a highlight. paint and that's what's so nice about using um, this thing so I have my art on like a baking sheet and then beneath is wet paper towel so it keeps the acrylic from drying so quickly it was something I learned on YouTube <laughs> I'm telling you when I don't know how to use some YouTube is like the best for teaching you how to use art supplies <laughs> because I have no clue. So I'm going to start out with a darker blue and then give it some highlights to make it look a little bit more like a jewel. Um, Mike Grove, as far as cosplayers, there have been a fair few cosplayers that have made some of the cover outfits that I've drawn, and it is just the hugest honor. Next, while I have plain paint on, you go ahead give some highlights onto the jewels. I mean the gold. Okay. 
All right, upside down time. You made a wrist pen band of sandpaper to sharpen your pencils. That's really interesting. Adam Bullock, thank you. I actually have never drawn a fursona. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Carlos, for me, the most challenging are buildings and machines. My husband says I draw guns that look like bananas. <laughs> They're all white and dumb looking. <laughs> Jonathan, the way that you can get a copy of my work and an autograph is via Lady Death Store right now. Okay, now I need to get even darker blue for the opposite side of the jewel. Hello, Jose. Thank you. Uh, look, I'm missing comments. Well, I come to a con in Europe as well. I would love to. All about the logistics, though. <laughs> I do have a European passport, though, so I didn't travel to Europe. Thank you, Philip. And Dave, yes, I am enjoying being home and working. It, it is helping me get a bit more done, and that's for sure. And my house is clean. I can keep my house clean. And that makes me very happy. Because <laughs> when I'm traveling, my husband and kids are amazing, and they do their very best. I'm a neat freak. And I have my way. <laughs> Must be cleaned. <laughs> Bob, hey! Hello, Therese. 
So I think here I'm just do a quick little scribble something or other. Just so that the blue theme carries throughout. Kyle L, good morning and welcome. Well, I guess it's good afternoon for you, isn't it? Hello, Shirley. Get a little bit of white highlight going on. For me, the key when it comes to lace and detailing, especially on a painting like this, is to not overthink it. You know, sometimes it looks better when it's just kind of loose and random. <laughs> Thank you so much, Shirley. Going to do a few little thinner, thinner scrolls coming off. Exactly, Rob. That was intentional. It's kind of a throwback to my shimmer cover. It's the first Lady Death cover I did. Hello, Andreas from Greece. Welcome. Thank you, Rob. Whoop, whoop. James, thank you so much for taking part in this sale. I'm sorry you missed some of the ones you wanted, but I'm glad you got the nail bound. We're going to go even thicker here. See you later, Dave. 
It was nice to see you as well, Meryl. And sometimes what I do, I look at the screen because it's just like that bit of division between reality and seeing it somewhere else that helps me catch makes. So it's really handy. Look at the art here, then check it on the screen as well <laughs> and see if I've made any mistakes. Therese, as far as staying motivated, I think for me, what helps me is, of course, deadlines, right? I'm pretty much like move from one deadline to the next. So it keeps a little bit of fear under my butt. <laughs> um, but for you, if you're drawing for enjoyment and things like that, pick things that you really are interested in. You know, draw stuff that you like, not something that you feel that you should draw. Um, and if you can find a way to get fun for you, I think that'll be easier to stay motivated. Oh, thank you, Shirley. It's truly all of you guys that made that happen. Gilbert, this book is already claimed, but I am painting this one to of what I'm thinking to do for the Remark books that were up for offer by Coffin Comics. This is sort of the inspiration paper that made the comic, the, the Remark books the way that they are. Just bought Lady Death Unholy Ruin, number one edition that wasn't on sale today. Oh, you tried down. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm sorry, Travis. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take this out of my actually because I don't need to hear myself, and now I'll be able to talk a little bit more clearly. Um, I don't need to, to hear what I'm saying. And then once Jimmy is back on, um, I'll put the earphones back in so I can hear him. I should have done that at the very, <laughs> are so, you back on now? I've been here the whole time, but do you want to keep going? Are you almost done? You want to keep going? Cause we've got a minute left. We're going to end. I'm almost done. Almost done. All right. All right. All right let's, let's do it. I, I'm hiding in the background because I guess my uh, connection is pretty bad. No one can really hear me. So we let you take center stage. And I was throwing out people's comments. We got a lot of folks loving what you're I doing. I saw that you were doing that. I just meant if I needed to hear you. Oh, oh okay. Sorry, sir. <laughs> let everyone know I didn't leave the, uh, the ship and let, let it go off course. Jimmy's here. <laughs> All right, great. Hey, what's up, Robert? How you doing? I am the lurker, Rob. Um, folks, anything else? Uh, hopefully, I don't. Rob can't hear me at all. But Dawn is doing an amazing job. This is just—I don't know if you got. I'm just fascinated listening to Dawn, watching her her craft. Thank uh, you. And you are definitely a pro at doing this live stream. You're able to draw, answer comments. You just had it down. Um, a professional through and through. Uh, so that that's it's amazing. No wonder, <laughs> no wonder those. Um, Thank you very much. I've had practice. Yeah, and it shows. It shows. So great. So thank you so once again. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day, your busy life. You've got kids. You got a house. You're married. You've got all these deadlines. So thank you so much for spending the time with us, Coffee Comics, the Fiends of the Sworn. 
Um, I have a question for you, Don. Are you on the new Swarm Nation Facebook group that we just uh, opened up last week? I am. All right, all right. Yes, yes. So, folks, if you have not jumped on it yet, make sure to go to Lady Death uh, Facebook page, Lady Death Universe. There's Swarm Nation, or just work, search for Swarm Nation Facebook group. Join it. We've got all the coffin artists there. We've got all the fiends, all the swarm. We've got Jimmy Coffin there. We got all the coffin crew. Everyone's in there uh, having a good time. Uh, it's almost like a pre-party for Swarm Fest, which one is going to be there, and which is Swarm Fest 2021, February 26th. We got a long time for things to settle down, everything, to, uh, everyone to calm down, and then we can get back to it and have a great time. So we got the pre-party in the Facebook group, Swarm Nation. Dawn, this is just looking amazing. Uh, just zoom in on that, wow. I'm done. <laughs> that, and you're done, wow. Folks, what do you think? And I'll do a little rotate so you guys can see the gold. It's so shiny. <laughs> shimmy, shimmy. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Dawn. Once again, folks, up next, at one o'clock, we got the arch fiend Brian Polito going to be with Dom Teague, superstar artist Dom Teague. They're going to come together. You're going to learn some new stuff. Going to hear some stories. You might get some inside scoop. Brian likes to drop a little bit of knowledge now and then, so we might might he might reveal something. So I suggest come check it out. You never know. Uh, we got so much going on behind the scenes. There's like Brian is is a madman, just constantly creating new new items. And uh, all right, that, that should be it. Let's say anything more other comments before we end here. Uh, yep, amazing course. That's it. Thank you all so much for joining in. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. Thank you, Dawn. Stay sworn. Stay safe. Be stay positive. Talk to you guys later. Thank you. Just in one hour. Bye. Brian See you.